Hey everyone, sorry I couldn't be here in person today, but thanks to the wonder of technology, I can be here cyberly, uh, if that's a word. I just made it up. Um, we'll start using it. Uh, 7.4 is about um, solving systems, just like 7.3 was, only 7.4 is going to use a tool called a matrix. Okay, and specifically, it's going to use something called an augmented matrix, and we'll talk about what that means. Don't worry that you don't know what that means yet. Uh, so a matrix is just a, a thing. It's just really an array of numbers. An array is just a rectangular arrangement of numbers. Like here's, here's some examples of matrices. 1, 0, 3, 2. That's a matrix. It's got uh, two rows, two columns, and all the spaces are filled, even if it's filled with a zero. Uh, here's another one, 3, 7, 12, negative 25, 2, 9, 6, 14, and 32. That's a matrix, okay? Um, so over here, let's just talk about like your general matrix, okay? An element of a matrix, an element is a number, um, if we don't know what the number is exactly, we just say it's A sub 1, 1. The reason why this is 1, 1 is because it's in row 1 and column 1. This one is A sub 1, 2 because it's in row 1 and column 2. This one could be A 2, 1, A sub 2, 1 because it's in row 2, but column 1. This one is A sub 2, 2 because it's in row 2, column 2, and so on and so on and so on and so on and so this one here would be in a sub m because we don't know what row it is it's just the last row but it's still in column one okay, and this one's a sub m uh, two because it's in row m the last row whatever it turns out to be and column two okay and this one goes on like this and this is in a sub well we know it's in row one but it's in column n we don't know what that number is in particular, um, but this could be a sub 2 and uh, again n, row 2, column n, and that, that column is unknown. And so if we continue this all down, this guy down here in the bottom right would be in row m and column n, okay, two unknown things, but it's this row and this column, and this kind of uh, defines uh, the order of the matrix, or you could think of it as the dimensions of a matrix. Okay, um, so the dimensions of a matrix uh, uh, are defined by the rows, by the columns. So this would be a two, two rows, you go vertically two, and it's two by two, and this is three by three three by three. Let me give you one that's not a square matrix. Square matrices have the same dimensions, two by two, three by three, five by five. Uh, so we'll do five, nine, seven, twelve, thirteen, five again, zero, negative two, three, four, five, six, whatever. Okay, so it's vertically three by horizontally four. Okay, now that might seem okay I got it whatever but um, be careful because people are tempted to do the horizontal first and then the vertical because that's like how we do X and Y and I wouldn't be surprised if, if some uh, of you did that it'd be okay but just remember vertical first how tall is it versus how wide is it how many rows does it have and then how many columns does it have and that's what we're looking at there okay so that's a that's what a matrix is now we've talked about the order of the matrix and the last thing I want to talk about um, in the in this first video, we'll do some samples in the um, in the next video. But in this video, I just want to talk about row echelon form first. Okay, so um, I'm going to write down a, a few examples here really quick. Okay, so there's some examples really quickly. Um, each of these is in what we call row echelon form. And we know that because we, we look here at the first row, and the first number we see is a 1. Okay? And, and then the rest of them can be whatever. Okay? But below that 1, we should see all zeros. Okay? 
So then we come down to the second row, which should start with a zero. Uh, then we move over, and the next number we sh see should be a one. And we do see a one, and then the, the other numbers can be whatever. Okay. Then below that one, there should be all zeros. No matter how big this uh, matrix might get, all zeros below the first one, and the next number you see is a one, and all zeros below that. And then we move down to the next one, and the first number we should we should see is a one, and and so on and so on. Um, this is the most common. When we have an augmented matrix, this is what we are aiming for. Um, but some other ones that are row, enough, row echelon form but look kind of funny, um, like this one. Uh, this one starts with a 1. The first row starts with a 1, and all below that you see zeros. Okay. When we move to the second row, the first number we see is a 1, and below that, zeros. Okay. Here, first one is 1, everything below it zeros. All these numbers are whatever. Okay. So we see a 0 in the second row, and Remember, this is okay that it's a zero. It doesn't have to be a one next. Just the first number that's not a zero needs to be a one. So we move along here in the second row. Ones, okay, so there should be zeros um, here until we get to the one, and below that should be zeros, okay? So it should be all zeros, and this third row is all zeros until you get to this one, um, but it's not directly below this one. It's to the right. So as we move down, we're going to kind of move down in a stair shape and these are all going to be ones, and everything on the bottom left of the matrix is going to be zeros. Okay. Then there's something called reduced row echelon form. That's not looking so good. Row echelon form. Okay. Well, reduced row echelon form is a lot like row echelon form. But in addition to everything below each of the ones being zeros, just like in row echelon form, everything above the ones is also zeros. So here's the first row has <clears throat> the first non-zero number is a one, and everything below it is a zero. We come down to the second row, the first non-zero number is a one, everything below and above is a zero. And the same for this one, everything above it is a zero. Everything below this one is a zero. Come along, first non-zero is a one. Everything above and below is a zero. Everything above this one is a zero. Okay, um, and this one too. It doesn't. It doesn't matter that these. This is like three, five, two, whatever. But once you get to the next non-zero number, it needs to be a one, and everything below, above, and below is going to be a zero. And same here. Okay, that might sound kind of confusing, but it's going to be put to use here in the, the sample problems in the next video. But we know what a matrix is. We know what the order of the or the dimensions of a matrix are. Um, we know what row echelon form looks like and what reduced row echelon form looks like, and we'll we'll put them to work here uh, in the in the sample problems video. So uh, watch that and uh, make a little more sense of that. Thanks for watching.